Hi everybody, it's Amber with Tune In Tuesday for Hope, healing our past experiences where we discuss the tough stuff, answer your questions, and share stories of hope. And so I just want to welcome you back this week. And as I was preparing for our event coming up this weekend called Beauty Out of Brokenness, I really just wanted to share with you a thought that came to me last month when I was at a conference speaking to um, several young uh, teenagers, um, actually teenagers of all that range, so to speak, but um, the conference was called Shine. And I had, as I had prepared for that conference, I was thinking, how in the world can we make shiny what it is that I talk about? You know, I talk about um, those who have uh, been affected by sexual abuse, sexual trauma, and misuse. Like, really, how can we make that shiny? And so I had this thought come to me, and this is what I wanted to share with you guys today. So my husband is a blacksmith, and so I went and got a piece of his coal. And um, really, this coal, it was a great representation of how I felt. I felt broken, I felt damaged, I felt dark. And so, you know, you can see, like, it, it's just dark, it's dirty, it's broken, um, and it's damaged. And that's really how I saw myself um, as the, an after effect of all the sexual trauma that I had experienced in my life. And so, um, as I was speaking to those girls, I talked to them about the potential of a piece of coal. You know, um, it could say a piece of coal, you know, but it has the potential to be something beautiful. And as you guys can kind of see my shirt, it says finding your diamond in the rough. Um, you know, that piece of coal, it, it takes on a lot of pressure. Um, it's been through a lot of things in order to come out to be a beautiful diamond. And that's really kind of um, a choice that we can use, you know, those things that were meant to destroy us, to totally take us out. And at one point in time, even put me six feet under. I honestly, like that could have been um, the end of my story in my teenage years. My teenage years were my hardest years for me. But hear my heart today, you know, everything that was meant to destroy me is now being used for my good and for God's glory. And so you may not believe in God and you may be angry at God and you may not want to have nothing to do with God. And I can understand that because I've been there. I was angry with God as a teenager and thought, Psh, if you're such a loving God, then why am I going through this right now? Well, it wasn't God's plan. It says the thief came to still kill and destroy. It was Satan's plan to take you out. And so I just want to encourage you today that if you were like me and you felt dark and dirty and damaged, um, that you don't have to stay that, that there is healing. And I would love to link arms with you and just really march forward on your healing journey. And so if you would like to know more about that, check out our website at www.2tryhope.com. If you're enjoying the videos every week, um, please like and subscribe, share the word because hope and healing is for everyone.